Yeah, Krista, this is just one of the three trees that was uprooted and tossed onto Old Cemetery here in North Liberty. Now, yesterday, before the storm came through, the cemetery was all set up for Memorial Day. But strong winds knocked out all of the decorations, and the community had just hours to scramble to get ready for the holiday. I was deeply moved. I don't know, for some reason, it really affects me this time. Judy Swanson drove through North Liberty right after the storm. I couldn't believe the huge trees that were down and every flag was laying flat. Strong winds uprooted trees, damaged headstones, and knocked down the flags put up for Memorial Day. My heart just sank when I saw all the the flags lying down on the ground. Swanson's friend Pam Trezino came along to see the damage. She was surprised to see the flags were up and flying. My heart started pounding and I, you know, your tears well up because it's so profound and, and I just wanted to start reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. One by one, members of the American Legion picked up nearly a hundred flags and put them back in their place just in time for Memorial Day. It was just really neat that people do that in, in memory of their soldiers. Swanson said the sight of the flags restored her sense of patriotism. And finally, I'm proud to be an American uh, after uh, a few years of maybe wondering about it. Now, as you can see, there were several headstones damaged in last night's storm, and there are still trees and branches all over the cemetery. Now, I did talk to the sexton here today, and he said they're not sure what they're going to do just yet. They'll have to hire professionals to take out the trees and review their insurance policy. Reporting in North Liberty, Rachel Glazer, ABC 57 News.